If you're into scale models, then you've come to the right place because this is Beyond the Sprue. My name is Jim, and we're going to discuss some new model releases. But first, the question How does the BB19 Booming Beaver typically assist in docking operations? A. By towing yachts, B. By guiding large vessels into port, C. By pushing barges into place, or D. By transporting passengers? Answers, as always, at the end. So first up is IBG's announcement of an Italian autocannon, a 3RO. And this is coming with the gun crew and four figures. And that's going to be in 135 scale. And they've kindly released some additional images. Looks to be um, quite a detailed kit and of interest uh, to most of us, I would imagine, that are watching the channel. And IBG have also announced a 172 scale uh, Charitia Mark 7B in Finnish service markings, as well as also 172, an Italian medium tank, uh, the M11 stroke 39. Um, personally, I quite like the 172 tanks because um, I think they look really good on a small diorama. Also, IPG have announced a 172 90mm Italian anti aircraft gun. In 135 scale, Mini Art have announced a, a new a British Steward Mark I uh, Honey early production model. This is going to be the full interior kit. Comes with five decal options. Uh, PE parts are included, of course. Mini Art have lots and lots of detail, uh, as you can see from the images. Now, here's something that may be of interest to a number of us: is Mini Art's announcement of a new ammo loading uh, SU85 Gaz MM and Crew, and this is going to be set on a diorama base. It comes with six figures, road signs. Also comes with the ammo boxes, the telegraph pole, uh, obviously the base. Uh, all these kits come with PE parts, lots and lots of detail. Um, and if you've got the skills and time, it's going to turn into quite a nice uh, looking kit, I would imagine. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a win, surely. Uh, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Personally, I, I love the attention to detail that Mini Art typically give to their kits. And um, I've seen some of the model kits that people have made up and they do turn into some uh, incredible uh, works of art, really. And I see an announcement this week is a 135 scale uh, Type 320 uh, Cabriolet B with the soft top unfolded uh, decals with license plates from various regions of Germany and set during the 1930s and 40s. And Trumps have been busy, they've made some new announcements. First off, there's this Shira Zugkraft Wagen, 18 ton, with a 6 ton Bilstein crane. That's in 135 scale. Then there's this M915 gun truck, uh, that's going to be in, in 135 scale. They've also announced a ship and a plane, which I'll cover later. And ICM's uh, cargo carrier, the Humvee, um, is due to be released very soon. Uh, that's coming out in 135 scale. I've covered it before on the channel, just uh, updating you on when it's coming out very soon. And Border Models are releasing a Jag Panzer 4L70V. It's coming with four schemes and a metal barrel, and that's going to be in 135 scale. And new, new models are releasing a Porsche 911 SC RS, and it's going to be in the colours of the 1984 Oman Rally winner. So something a little bit different here, and this is a German K flak, uh, 7.7 centimetre. It's in a 3D resin made by St. George Models. Uh, I've recently discovered him, he's on Facebook, he's got a lot of followers. Uh, I do believe he is 100% legit, um, but you need to be on Facebook and check out his page uh, to come across it. It deals mainly with unusual World War One subjects. And whilst you're on Facebook, why not join my group, uh, The Scale Modelers, and there's a link at the end of the video. That's also in the description. 
And uh, I'll make an assumption that Gullwing uh, Nissan, uh, so I have machine guns on the front, uh, slightly unusual, uh, 1 in 24 scale, um, should make an interesting kit for sure. And we're going to deal with some classic sci-fi here, uh, and they have also announced a Back to the Future DeLorean, but this time it's the actual DeLorean from the film, uh, presumably they've got all the rights to do the kit. Uh, it comes with real flames and you can make the kit as it is in the film. And sticking with the sci-fi, Mobus Models um, are releasing their 2001 Space Odyssey Space Station Orbital Platform 5. Um, a lot of these are re-releases because they were uh, basically sort of discontinued but they're re-releasing a lot of these old kits and so uh, keep your eyes open and you'll be able to find these if you are into some uh, classic sci-fis and Pegasus models are making of re-released the uh, tripods attacked from the War of the Worlds uh, I've seen this made up it looks absolutely super and it's if you put the LEDs in it Oh, it really brings it to life. Uh, it comes with the whole diorama and um, painted up and made to look authentic. It's one hell of a uh, showpiece, really. And if the Martians from the World of Worlds that floats your boat, then you can make this one in eight scale from Pegasus models of the creature from the latest World of Worlds film. And if you like Terminator 2, Judgment Day, uh, then you can make this one in 32 scale model kit of the Hunter Killer Tank. Uh, that's from Pegasus Models as well. And they're also making an Aerial HK machine. Um, that's a 1 in 32 scale model kit uh, from Pegasus Models. Also from Terminator 2, Judgment Day and Pegasus Models, are the uh, T800 endoskeleton uh, androids or robots, whatever you call them, they're going to be in 132 scale as well. And that comes with a diorama base and five figures. And to finish off the sci fi, um, Pegasus models have also announced 20,000 leagues under the sea, a one in 144 scale. Uh, model of the Nautilus with a sea monster, presumably octopus, underneath it. So the M models are making a BB-19 Booming Beaver and that's going to be a 1 and 7 2 scale. I would imagine it's going to be quite small, uh, but it's a limited edition kit if you want it. And Trumpeter models are releasing an Olympic 1 in 200 scale model ship. And Pit Road models are making a 1 in 700 scale ship of the pure Japanese Navy aircraft carrier Shioda. I presume I've said that correctly. Comes with PE parts. And Seals models are making a 1 in 500 scale version of the IGN Shenyon. And SS models are making some 3D versions uh, of the Zara and the Polar uh, with full hull and without full hull. Um, and it's going to be 1 700 scale. And now the miniatures are making some new models, 1 in 35 scales of German tank commanders and uh, various poses uh, from World War II. And they also do some uh, German soldiers in various poses from World War II. And Masterbox are bringing out some new figures. It's a kit and includes parts for five figures. And uh, it's called Shootout and it's set in the Vietnam War. And Airborne Miniatures are bringing out some new figures. Uh, and they look rather good and lovely detail. And they include some Waffen SS figures, uh, Wehrmacht figures, and some German soldiers, as well as infantrymen and Waffen SS. And they come in a variety of different scales uh, as they are printed to order and they are made of resin, and so are the weapons. And a company called Rapture Miniatures are bringing out some. Uh, 
IDF and LRDG crews. Uh, these are in 135 uh, resin figures as well. Uh, looks to be interesting and some good detail on these figures. And whilst we're keeping with figures, Border Models have announced a World War II US tank crew. Uh, these are resin figures as well. And uh, because resin just gives that high quality of detail. And Young Miniatures have released a new bust. It's one in 10 scale made of resin. Uh, it comes in seven pieces called the Wind of Orleans, uh, which I imagine is Joan of Arc. Uh, looks to be some quality detail on there. And Reskits have announced uh, a new set of figures in 132, 148, 172 scale uh, of a brand new set called Brown Jersey, which are Airwing plane captains, Airwing line leading petty officers, and it's due to be released soon. And Mitch's models have released a large amount of new figures uh, from European Knights to uh, Mayhem Warlords and everything in between um, their quality is astounding and uh, i'm sure they'll do very well with these anyone into figure painting should definitely check these figures out uh, they're extremely good and this is warranted uh, a whole page by itself is french demi lancer and a Confederate infantryman from 1863, and that's 120 millimeters. And Mitch's models are well worthy of a visit. And Fine Moulds have announced a new 1 in 48 scale, uh, A6M50. And you think, well, so what's different about that? Uh, the whole way it is produced is different about this. And uh, we'll have a look in just a moment. And so here we can see fine molds uh, artwork and presumably coming in at different schemes. Now their manufacturing has changed a bit. The canopy on the transparent part, for instance, is going to be in two parts. So you can have it as a traditional canopy or you can have it as a broken down version, which they say will eliminate the need for masking. So if we look at the picture, we can see the different parts and the rear fuselage has been made through a slide mold. So it makes the rear fuselage in one piece and they have done similar with the front fuselage part and a single slide mold uh, eliminates the need for sanding out of seam lines and ensuring that you're not sanding one out that should be there and getting rid of the rivets. Uh, talking of which, they're all engraved onto the surface. Uh, the, re the flaps are retractable and the mould incorporates fine details which have been applied by a 3D laser engraving machine, uh, creating a detailed assembly of parts to recreate the engine and cockpit with a sense of precision. So, uh, a bit different from regular model kits and it should be interesting and uh, hopefully authentic and should eliminate a lot of need for sanding and filling. I think it goes to show how model production is developing and uh, and isn't it incredible really, looks brilliant. And DB Model Kits have released some images of a, a planned release of a Spitfire Mark 14 in 132nd scale. So uh, a good size on that. And ANA models are releasing a 1 in 72 scale ADM 5N Sky Raider. This comes with um, the masks as well and a photo at sheet. Um, 277 parts in this little 172 scale kit uh, and four scheme options. Um, should keep you busy for a while. Uh, the four sprues with armament and trumpeter have announced a fairy battle mark one and that's going to be a one and four eight scale um it's due to be released at some point in the future i don't know when uh but it should be a popular kit for sure and the soon to be released 172 gloucester meteor from airfix has been announced with a couple of schemes uh uh, number 77 Squadron, the Royal Australian Air Force, and uh, number 79 Squadron, the Royal Air Force, and uh, yeah, looks to be some lovely schemes there. 
and Vallum have released two editions of their new Tour de Evro and Sinon 1 and 70 second scale and we've got the T21 and the C19 as well. And Luke Graf have continued announcing some new 3D kits and this time the Royal Aircraft Factory BE2C. Uh, this is going to be a 3D printed kit, comes with PE parts and uh, colour instructions and some decals and it's going to be in 1 and 32 scale, uh, quite large. And Welsh models are releasing a 1 in 4 4 scale of the USAF North American T39A uh, Sabre Liner. It's going to be resin and metal based and uh, these make lovely kits when they're done. And continuing with uh, Luke Graf, the Phoenix D1 is 3D printed kit is now available. That's in 1 and 32nd scale. I would be really interested to hear from anyone who has made these kits. Uh, what was your experience and did you enjoy it? Uh, need to be these resin kits, not the other kits. And if you are wanting to make a complete set of the US Navy Blue Angels, uh, then you're in luck because Fine Moulds are releasing one seven second scale of these F4Js and they come with the schemes of the seven different aircraft. Wonderful. And Kinetic Models are releasing soon a F16A. Uh, it's going to be a one in 48 scale and this is going to be the scheme of the Ukrainian Air Force. Uh, comes with different options for various weapons. And I may have given this more airtime than it deserved, but they've made up some models of this uh, new OV-1B Mohawk from Clearpot Models in 1.7 second scale. And I was just so taken with the scheme. I think it was beautiful. And if you're looking for a bastard flogzoid, uh, then look no further because Edward are releasing a Royal Class 172 version of this BF109G. Of course, it'll have all the regular details and the classic Edward precision to detail. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Drop me a like, please. It really makes a difference. And how does the BB19 Booming Beaver typically assist in docker operations? Uh, well, if you said by pushing barges into place, option C, then you would have been correct. Thanks for watching, guys. I know it was a long one. And see you next time.